How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Now I'm sure you guys have probably seen a bunch of different ranking videos on YouTube now, either on my channel or on other YouTubers channels. There's been different rankings of maps and game modes and heroes. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit and instead of giving you guys my personal opinion and ranking them based off of my preference, I left this one up to you guys. I posted a poll over on Twitter and there was 1,059 people that voted and you guys were voting for the best heroes to get kill streaks. So instead of showing off every single hero in this video, I'm just going to make it a top 10 since once you get out of the top 10, all the votes are pretty similar anyway. Towards the end of the video, I'll show off the entire list. That way you guys can see who all got the most votes. But I can tell you now that Chewbacca did not make the list. Chewbacca was at the very bottom with only six votes. So the community definitely does not like Chewbacca. So to start off this list, we have Master Yoda. Yoda received 33 votes in this poll. And if it was going off of my opinion, I don't think Yoda would have made the top 10, but this is up to the community and you guys chose Yoda. Now I can see where people are coming from. He is small to hit. He does have the ability to dash through people's blocks. He can basically block forever and he has his presence ability where he can get out of any immobilizing effect and he can heal himself and his teammates. So Master Yoda is coming in at number 10. And then up next at number 9, you guys voted for Han Solo. He received 35 votes. And this is a pretty interesting choice. Han definitely cannot take much damage, but Han can deal out a ton of damage. If you're accurate with Han, you can really, really rack in some big kill streaks. I've had some pretty high kill streaks. I think it varies depending on the map, but Han's DL44 basically acts like a sniper rifle. If you can get headshots, this thing will pick people off from across the map. His shoulder charge can now one-shot all infantry, just like BB-8s, which is a good change that they made a couple months ago. His rapid fire will absolutely wreck heroes. And then his Detonite Charge is just icing on the top, or it does tons and tons of damage. It can take out multiple enemies with one go. It has a knockdown effect, so you can knock opponents off cliffs and stuff with it. Overall, Han is one of the best heroes in the game in my opinion. I just wish that he could take a little bit more damage. I wish that he had a damage reduction star card. So you guys put Han at number 9. And then up next at number 8 we have General Grievous. General Grievous personally would have made my top 10 as well. I think Grievous is really really good at racking in killstreaks especially if you have that star card where he does extra damage with his claw rush. You can run into rooms and take out multiple people with one ability. His thrust surge is no longer a broken death wish and no longer makes you spin into helicopters. The only downsides that I see to Grievous is that he has really bad stamina. He can only block for one or two blaster bolts and his unrelenting advance will glitch out on occasion and it's pretty much a death wish at that point. So his unrelenting advance ability is pretty hit and miss, but other than that, I think Grievous is really good and he does a ton of damage and he is pretty good at getting kill streaks. And then up next at number seven was a shock to me, but you guys voted for Bosk. Now I can understand why, because his Dioxus is really, really good at cutting off objectives. You can throw his Dioxus into spawn points and spawn kill people. He can pick people off at a distance and he has a bunch of explosives, which you can also put on different objectives and in different spawn areas. If you are a smart Bosk player, you can easily get really high kill streaks. And Bosk is the only hero that can naturally regenerate all his health back to max without needing to get kills. So Bosk is pretty good. 36 of you guys voted for him, which put him up at number seven. And then up next at number six, everything from six all the way up to number one, I pretty much agree with. I feel like you can interchange any of these guys. But at number six, 63 of you guys voted for him, and that is Kylo Ren. I think Kylo is an absolute beast at getting kill streaks. He has his pull, his freeze, and his frenzy. And depending on what star cards you go with, he can do a bunch of damage. I think there's three different star cards which increase the damage of his frenzy. His frenzy now with the latest update can go through block. And overall, Kylo is one of the best heroes in the game in my opinion. And I have seen some very, very high kill streaks with him. I personally have gotten quite a few hundred plus kill streaks with Kylo. I think he's really fun to use. And I can see why you guys put him at number six. And then at number five, which beat out Kylo Ren by just two votes, is Darth Maul. Now, I'm a little torn between Kylo and Darth Maul as well. I mean, there was only two votes difference. I can interchange either one of these personally, in my opinion. I think they're both really good at getting kill streaks. But Darth Maul is kind of the original killstreak master. I may be a little biased towards Darth Maul because Darth Maul was the first hero I was ever able to get a big killstreak with. Back when this game first launched, I was able to get 
my first 100 kill streak with Darth Maul and Naboo, and he's only received nothing but buffs since his launch. He can now block, his saber throw is really good at hitting people at a distance, which used to be vertical, now it's horizontal. He can have up to three dashes, he's one of the fastest heroes in the game, and Darth Maul is one of the hardest targets to hit. I personally think Darth Maul is harder to hit than Yoda because Darth Maul is just constantly jumping around, dashing, and Darth Maul is just an absolute beast, so I can totally see why you guys put him at number five. And then at number four, coming in with 95 votes, we have Luke Skywalker. Now, Luke is one of the few heroes in the game where every single one of his abilities do damage to the opponent. His force push can insta-kill people. His repulse, depending on the star cards, can wipe out entire rooms. He's pretty accurate with his blocks. He can have up to three dashes. He has one of the fastest movement speeds, if not the fastest movement speed out of all the heroes and villains. And he's just an absolute beast. I can totally see why you guys put him at number four. Some might argue that he deserves to be even higher than that. And I've gotten tons and tons of kill streaks with Luke. I think Luke is one of the easiest heroes to get kill streaks with. And I personally would have put him at number four myself. So I think the community got Luke right at number four. And then as for numbers three, two, and one, it is definitely a lot closer. There was only four votes which separated number three from number two. And coming in at number three at 151 votes, we have Darth Vader. Now I think Darth Vader has gotten a lot better with his recent change where he can now choke and block at the same time. He was absolutely broken before the latest update where he had 85 damage reduction and he could block and choke. In my opinion, he was the best hero in the game at the time, but they since fixed that and I can understand why he's at number three. I think the only reason he's not higher is because he's so slow. He can't get around the battlefront as quickly as some of these other heroes, but he definitely does a lot of damage and he is an absolute tank. He can take tons and tons of hits. Sometimes it feels like he's invincible because he just can take so much damage and a smart Darth Vader player can easily get a hundred plus kill streak. So I also agree with the community on this one at Darth Vader being number three. And then coming in at number two with 155 votes, we have Emperor Palpatine. So he just barely beat out Darth Vader. Palpatine, I would have argued, could have been number one at one point, but he has since received a nerf. He doesn't do as much damage as he used to, and his chain lightning doesn't have as much range, and his dark aura no longer immobilizes targets. But even with those nerfs, he is still one of the best heroes in the entire game. The community voted him at number two. I personally would have put him at number two as well. And he's just a freaking beast. There's no other way to put it. He can dash, he's really fast, he can jump and float in the air. He can stun you with electrocution. He can hit five or six people at once with his chain lightning. And he will absolutely melt through your health and kill you before you even realize that you're being attacked. And then at number one, we have Anakin Skywalker with 188 votes. Now there's not really any surprise here. I mean, Anakin is really, really fast. He has four abilities, which is different from every other hero in the game. He has a really high base amount of health. He has really good base damage with his swings. He can pull opponents directly in front of him. He can wipe out entire rooms with heroic might. He can wipe out entire rooms with retribution. Anakin is an absolute beast on the battlefront. He's known for his hit and run tactics. A lot of veteran Anakin players will run into a room, use heroic might, and then run away. And I think Anakin definitely holds the record for the most amount of nerfs out of all the heroes and villains. I think Anakin is up to his fifth or sixth nerf now and it's still debated in the community that he might need even more nerfs. But that is who you guys voted for for your guys' top 10 heroes to get killstreaks with. And then if you guys are curious about the remainder of the list, after Yoda at number 11, we have Rey. BB-8 came in at number 12. And then Obi-Wan, Boba Fett, Leia, Lando, Dooku, Aiden, Phasma, BB-9E, Finn, and Chewbacca. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys would like to see more community involvement and more ranking videos like this in the future, then let me know down in the comment section down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and be sure to join the Discord if you guys would like to participate in more polls like this in the future. And then if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you guys get all notifications. And then if you haven't yet, you can follow me on Twitch at Swanee Plays Games Live. And all those links are found in the description down below. And that's going to do it for me, guys, and I will talk to you all in the next video. We would be honored if you would join us. 
you cannot resist. 